Cyberpunk 2077 has been rated M by the MSRB for blood and gore, intense violence, nudity, strong language, strong sexual content, and the use of drugs and alcohol. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey kids, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, if you've been here before, welcome aboard. If this is your first time, welcome back. Yes, I did that on purpose. What, I can't switch it up? Oh, come on. Yeah, I know, it was a stupid joke, but it was a joke. All right. Anyway, where was I? Um, anyway, uh, uh, you know, seriously, though, you know, if you've been here before, welcome back. If you never have, welcome aboard. My name's Jack, and I play video games. Um, it's, it's a hobby, you know. Everybody needs a hobby. And, uh... In my case, um, I started up this channel because I'm retired. I'm, I, you know, I don't work anymore, and I needed something to do. And my oldest son, Zachary, had realized that I was playing all these games, and he's like, y "You need to start a YouTube channel." And I'm like, what, "Why? Why would I want to start a YouTube channel?" And he's like, because it'll give you something to do. It'll, you know, it'll it'll use up more of your time. And I have to say, he's right. It's it's used up a whole lot of my time. But that being said, um, I'm having fun with it. So anyway, let's get into the game. Uh, need to look at the map and see what we have to do. We've got this thing here, and we've got this thing over here, and we've got a crime in progress. Let's go to this location there. I'm not sure what it is. We don't know really what it is. But, whoops, I just got done playing Borderlands, recording some Borderlands, and everything in Borderlands is, you know, click E to interact, and everything in Cyberpunk is click F to interact, so... Whoops, this is the wrong way. That's okay. Okie doke. So anyway, um... There's our assault in progress. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I keep getting asked. I, I have to admit, I'm going to stop for a second because I want to address this. I keep getting asked by everybody. Oh my God, have they removed all the bugs? Dude, have you not been paying attention? They've issued like, what, four hot fixes? I haven't had a bug in, in months. You know, what exactly is the problem here? I'm not seeing any other gang. I'm not seeing any other gang activity around the bridge, so we can safely rule out any score settling. Seems to be, seems to me, one of the millstreamers just had a bad day or dialed his implants a little too high. Hard to tell when it comes to them. All I know is the rest showed up at the wrong time, and a bloodbath ensued. I'm betting on on cyber psychosis. Even Maelstrom's harshest welcomes don't come close to this. Okay. Six feet under. And that guy just ran himself into a wall. Oh, well, well. The something on the north side just erupted, and apparently it's got Maelstromer's hauling ass out of there. See what's going on exactly and let me know. Yeah. No. 
Interesting. Shock and uh, cause of death: shock and blood loss due to multiple lacerations. Unresponsive, no pulse. Okay, let's breach some protocol here. Um, five five BD one C E nine five five. This was a simple one, but it tells me where the bad guy is. Can I distract him? Oh, he just executed somebody. Wait, did that work? He's running. Do I have anything I can ping with? Yes. Jesus Christ, what was that? How is he seeing me? that's actually working but that did it that did it I, I bounced him with an EMP grenade. All right. Uh, let's see. Read the message. Uh, Tamara, I've been trying to reach you ever since they took me. I know you're looking, and I know you'll find me eventually, but I don't know how to make it any easier. Don't think I can get on the net. I should have listened to you when you taught me how... But now I fucked myself. Honestly, I don't even think you'll recognize me if you saw me. I don't. Uh, I know I don't. Should just stick a barrel down my throat and be done with it. And I'm suck. I'm such a fucking monster. Fuck me. Gang ain't t taking me back. Not without a bag over my head. I got these like tractor hands and ugly as sin red eyes. All I can think of now is your chooms who poison you to tell, uh, poison you to me, telling you not to. Uh, get with a Valentino that he'll leave for someone else. Vanish without a word. I'm gone, and they'll beat their chests all justified and tell you told you so, but you couldn't be more wrong. It's driving me loco. I feel like, my God, this guy's tragic. I feel like my head's going to explode in a million pieces. I feel the pressure building and building and building, but I don't know what's when it's going to pop. Jesus fucking God. This guy's a victim, man. I mean, I understand the necessity. You know, if he killed a bunch of people, you know, somebody's got to got to bring him in but Jesus Christ he's a victim you know a lot of the cyber psychos I've dealt with so far have been victims it's interesting I'm finding it interesting 
you know? Militech messes them over, or, you know, they, they get involved in a drug scene they shouldn't be getting involved in, or whatever, you know? Cause of death, shock and blood loss due to multiple lacerations. Uh, we loaded up Rudolph with the chrome today. Had him spinning hard for a while, but now he's sleeping like a baby. Man, can you imagine the faces on those Tinos when we roll him over to them like a fucking Trojan cyber? Oh my god. Oh my god. He was going to be a, a human bomb for them. Jesus Christ. Now I want to kill all the Maelstromers. I mean... You know, I, I mean, this is a very, uh, what do you call it, um, morally ambiguous game anyway, but here I am, supposedly the good guy, supposedly, because I bet you I got a higher body count than this dude does, and, uh, and every once in a while I get something and I'm like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to murder every single one of these guys and I'm going to do it with a smile on my face. Why? Because reasons. You know? Uh, all right. Message Regina about the cyber psycho si uh, sighting six feet under. Um. Okay, I got a. I got a level up. Um, I'm gonna. I'm still increasing my. Um. Let's see. No. Let's add. Let's add one to cool. And then what we're going to do is. Um, I think we get this one. Okay, now. Journal messages. Coach Fred Wright. Regina Jones. Uh, our kid was a Valentino, not a Maelstromer. Borg fiends must have had an axe to grind with him because they stuffed him with implants like a fucking Christmas turkey and just watched and waited him to blow. Someone happened, uh, someone happened to anyone chip that fast. Body didn't have time to adjust to the wear and turned him into a psycho. Good thing he still had a little self-control. Meant I could take him down gently. Or quietly, rather. Whoops. That was a response. She had a response for me. Uh, looks like our guy didn't even have to piss them off. While A while ago, Maelstrom put out a word it was looking for volunteers to test some new wear. Obviously, nobody stepped up, so the Borg fuckers just started scooping peeps off the street. Valentino's been looking for this kid for a while, not to mention the runner who swarmed the net with data feelers trying to track him down. Eventually must have broken free and fought for his life, made the Maelstromers reap what they sowed. Whole thing backfired on them spectacularly. Good thing you managed to get him uh, to go down softly. Kid's still young, maybe with the right kind of help he can learn to adapt to his new condition. Yeah, like that's going to happen. You get the feeling that there's not a lot of uh, psychological care going on in this world. Let's go here and take care of this assault in progress. As far as the journal, we're going to put it on the gig so only that one goes.